decades, a Cherokee, Iowa nonprofit has helped survivors of sexual assault and abuse turn over a new leaf. The Centers Against Abuse and Sexual Assault Advocacy Group has a used home furniture decor store that helps raise money for sexual abuse advocacy. And today, Iowa's Lieutenant Governor got a chance to see the difference this group is making. Here's KTIV's Clayton Anderson. Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg says New Leaf's new location showcases CASA's inspiring work. The group was able to open the store thanks in part to an Iowa nonprofit innovation grant that came out of American Rescue Plan dollars. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to be out on the road and see one of these uh, programs that received those funds and see it at full completion. So uh, it's, it's very rewarding to see that and I'll make sure to, to bring back to her that it's having a really positive impact on the ground here in Cherokee. The New Leaf store opened at the end of last year and they're already seeing progress and customer satisfaction with all this money going back to victims of sexual assault through advocacy. Goes back, you know, to uh, clients and mileage um, for our advocates to be able to serve those clients, um, to be able to take them, you know, where they need to go, whether that be appointments, um, the Child Advocacy Center for interviews um, for children. CASA represents 19 counties in northwest Iowa and is a resource to provide sexual assault survivors help. New Leaf offers donated items like beds, bed frames, cribs, and other furniture and home goods for the public to buy or are available for survivors of sexual assault. As a nonprofit, CASA relies on many different federal grants. There are worries the funding could be cut. It's a concern the group brought to Greg. But we continue to work with um, state government, with Department of Public Safety to help ensure public safety here in our state. Another goal for the New Leaf store is being more visible and bringing awareness to the public about what CASA does. So, in Cherokee, Iowa, you know, Clayton Anderson, KTIV and, News 4. Uh, for more information on CASA and the crisis hotline information, simply check out the story at KTIV.com.